Michael Groden and I um, started doing work on, and we decided, I don't, I really don't even remember, I should remember how we decided. Well, we decided we wanted to do some work on the Nuremberg Code. You know, we wanted to work on Nuremberg. Michael's an expert on the Holocaust. Uh, I didn't know anything about most of this stuff. But uh, I thought that was a good project. Uh, and when we began, we thought the first thing we should do is get a list of all the books that were written about Nuremberg. <laughs> turned out, and we thought there were about 100. Uh, it turned out there were two. Uh, and one was in French, totally in French, and the other had been translated from the German. But that was it. I mean, not that it, well, nobody really cared about it enough to do any work on it. Uh, uh, Harvard had the original typeset <laughs> of the transcript of the doctor's trials. So we went over there to look at that, and he kept it in the sub-basement, and no one had ever looked at it. During a flood, they once took all the documents and put them on top of the filing cabinets. So we thought it was a good project. So we spent, we spent a lot of time on that, and we you know, wrote a book about it, did conferences on it. And at one point, Jonathan Mann, who was, we know is the father of health and human rights, uh, was at Harvard and invited me over to give a talk uh, on Nuremberg, and I did. I was happy to go over there, happy to meet him one there. And I told him, I didn't know anything about human rights. And he said, actually, that's not true. <laughs> not just Nuremberg, but all my work on patients' rights, he said he sees that totally as human rights stuff. I never did. Um, but after that, I started working with, with Jonathan, and, uh, and I started getting more involved. You know, I, I started learning. I didn't know any of this stuff. I, didn't, I literally, at the time, did not know what the Universal Declaration of Human Rights was. Most Americans still don't. But, um, and I didn't know the whole history of human rights. I started working in this field, which again, Jonathan named Health and Human Rights. I thought it made perfect sense. If you're looking at these issues on a global uh, platform and trying to figure out what the core of human rights and human dignity are that every person should have a right to. And then how do you do it? How do, you know, <laughs> implementation is much harder than theory, although theory is hard too. I mean, a lot of people still object to the notion that there are such things as human rights, and many bioethicists even don't understand human dignity. Uh, that's, you know, they think it's too European a concept, but, but anyway, that's, that's how I got involved. I'd give Jonathan Mann total credit for that, and Michael Groden, of course.